official. So we are on the TFL train um, to Paddington Station in London. And then we have to make our way to Chippewa Camden, which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, but we can do it. Figure it out. Public transportation. So we've arrived in Chipping Camden and we are enjoying uh, cream tea, which includes scones and clotted cream. This is the 15th century St. James Church, which has a lot of history, a beautiful churchyard and expansive views. It's 6.30 in the morning at our inn in Chipping Camden, and today we're walking 18.1 miles. Um, we're stopping in six miles at a town called Broadway, which is one of the biggest towns we're going to stop at on the way. It's a large market town. Um, really excited to see Broadway. And we end uh, Cheltenham today. It feels like 1.30 in the morning to uh, our bodies, but Bud is so ramped up, <laughs> he doesn't even feel it. I made myself a little, all of the rooms in the inns here, I guess, have little coffee services, so you can make your tea or coffee in the morning, so they had a little French press set up, and um, yeah, a little sleepy, but um, eager to see what this trail has in store. It's so different than what we have hiked before. <coughs> And so, um, a little apprehensive because it's not what we're typically used to. For me, I'm a little apprehensive, um, but also eager to, um, to see what it's all about. Cheers. These are the breakfast options this morning. We're absolutely gonna get the full English. We're at the start of the uh, Cotswold Way. This is the uh, beginning and the end point. Right here. The bath is 100 miles. Chipping Camden is home to this 400-year-old marketplace where people could shop protected from the weather. And this is where the Cotswold Way both begins uh, and ends, depending on the direction you're heading.
The architecture of the Cotswold is composed of this oolitic limestone rock. Um, oolitic is from the Greek for fish row because it looks like fish eggs. This was built by a, a lord and lady because the lady wanted to show off in front of her neighbors. And um, the view from the top is basically the same as the view from the bottom. All right, there's a bull in the field out here. Some people have talked about it getting a little too close. It's a 50-50 chance we'll get bored. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Day one of our journey on the Cotswold Way. We're going southbound, the traditional route, starting over in Chipping Campton. And it's really our second day here in England. Uh, we flew into Heathrow yesterday and we're pretty jet lagged. And yeah, so we've had a pretty good go at things so far. We're about 16 miles in. I think we have, yeah, 2.8 2. maybe. Um, oh, this is your spin. And we're here at the Hales uh, farm. So what'd you get to eat? This is a lemon curd cake. And I got the uh, Victoria sponge cake. And flapjacks in the United States means like pancakes, but here it's a type of bar. We've gone, I think, 15 and a half miles. And I feel like, I don't feel tired or sore. It's hilly, but. It's gentle hills. Yeah. It's not mountains. The regular hiking that we do, if we were to hike 15 and a half miles, I would be sore by now. I'd be tired. I'd be ready for, um, I'd be ready to get to our final destination and have dinner. Whereas here, um, it's such easy walking. I mean, there's hills up and down, but it's, it's such pleasant walking that um, I'm not sore, I'm not tired. I'm, st I'm excited to get to um, Winchcombe. But go to the pub. Go to the pub, get a pint. My favorite part is the sheep. Yeah. You walk right through fields of sheep. It's just so beautiful. The weather so far has been perfect. It really has been. Yeah, no complaints. We're a little, a little allergic to pollen. Mm. So 
that's kind of a maybe a slight annoying thing, but it's to be expected. We're outdoors. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. I'm really a big fan of that. Yesterday we went to a, a different tea room, and a girl was saying this is a very British dessert, and I love it. It's so good. Amazing. Welcome to Hell's Abbey, <laughs> an abbey founded in 1246 by Richard, Earl of Cornwall, the second son of King John. King John, just to give you a timeline, was the the Prince John of the Robin Hood stories. He did exist. Oh, wow. Robin Hood Whoa. is debatable whether Robin Locks existed. But Prince John definitely did because he became King John. Yeah. He had an elder brother called Richard, who was Richard the Lionheart, Richard Coeur de Lyon, who was King Richard. Mm -hmm. um, John had two sons, Henry, who became King Henry III, gave us the Westminster Abbey that we have today, mm -hmm. and Richard, the younger brother, and in those days, the younger son to the monarch had an earldom. Today, of course, it's Charles, Duke of Cornwall, who is the heir to the throne, so it went up one oh, level, no. an earldom, a dukedom. So Richard, Earl of Cornwall, founded this site in thanks to the Lord for saving him from a storm when he was coming back from France in 1240. It's lately raining on us, so we're walking in that. We're less than two miles away from our final stop of the day, Winchcombe. So, not too bad, it just started when we were at the Abbey. We're at the Lion Inn. I'm drinking Billy Bop. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's really, really good. We started a tradition of getting crisps at the at the pub. So we walked 18.3 miles. Which is actually like a good, I felt good the whole time. Mm. And the crazy thing about this is, like I feel awesome. Yeah. I don't feel, if we walked 18.3 miles on a long trail, you're like sore and exhausted at the end of the day. Like yeah. you can barely crawl into your sleeping bag before you pass out. The, honestly, the top two dangers on the trail so far, <laughs> allergens cow pies yeah those are the two things you don't need to look out for we have our biggest climb tomorrow which <laughs> is cleave hill so tomorrow is our shortest day at 12 miles so we're gonna have we're gonna have the opportunity to walk around town spread this good. carbs yeah seriously 